أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of God, the Beneficent and the Merciful. In the conquest of the Holy Mecca, the words and the actions of the Holy Prophet of Islam represents the true victory in Islam. The Holy Quran also says there is a great exemplar in all of you and the Holy Prophet of Islam. The Holy Prophet is an example and a role model to follow. Whatever that conforms to the actions and words of the Holy Prophet is Islam. Therefore, all these conquests in history that are called Islamic, either the ones after the Holy Prophet of Islam, and before the reign of the commander of the faithful Imam Ali, peace be upon him, or the ones that occurred after the passing of Imam Ali, peace be upon him, none of those conquests are not Islamic because they do not conform to the actions and words and policies of the Holy Prophet of Islam. In the conquest of Holy Mecca, the history reports no case of imposing the religion of Islam on anybody. However, in those false conquests of the so-called Islamic rulers, those people impose this holy faith on many people. There is freedom in Islam. On the judgment day, people will face the consequences of their actions. And those who have willingly accepted Islam will be rewarded. And those who have willingly refused Islam will face the consequences of their actions. And therefore, the Islamic rulers does not have the right to impose the religion of Islam on anybody. And this was how the Holy Prophet of Islam behaved. When the Holy Prophet entered Holy Mecca, and he had this power and authority to impose this holy faith on people in Mecca, and surely thousands of people would have obeyed the Holy Prophet's order to accept the religion of Islam. However, the Holy Prophet did not do that and waited for people to gradually accept the religion of Islam. Unfortunately, during the reign of the Abbasid, rulers, not only many people were forced into the faith of Islam, but also they were tortured. People were killed. There are countless examples in history and they are recorded as Islamic conquests in history books. However, none of those conquests conform to the policies of the Holy Prophet of Islam. One of the rulers that ruled in the name of Islam 
It is said that he attacked a city which did not surrender. There were many people, women, men, and children in that city. And in those times, houses were built from wood and other flammable objects. The history says that this ruler, who called himself to be an Islamic ruler, ordered his soldiers to pour oil on these houses and burn alive all the 50,000 people in that city. This we also reports that another city that did not surrender Twenty thousands of people were buried alive in one mass grave by the orders of this so-called Islamic ruler. All these heinous atrocities are recorded in history. Therefore, we need to introduce and announce to the world that the true Islam is only represented by the Holy Prophet of Islam, and none of those rulers who installed themselves as Islamic caliphs should represent any truth of Islam. These two paths should be set apart. Nobody can dare to say that the Islam practiced by the Holy Prophet is not the real one. Because the Holy Quran says that the Holy Prophet is a great example to all people. The policies and the practices displayed by the Holy Commander of the Faithful, Imam Ali, peace be upon him, was in absolute conformity to the policies of the Holy Prophet of Islam. And therefore, Imam Ali never started a war during his time. All those wars were defensive. All those wars began after the enemies drew their swords and killed some members of the Imam's army. Just like what happened to the Holy Prophet of Islam. This is a collective duty upon all Muslims, and since this duty is not fulfilled by the community, it is incumbent upon all individuals. These two paths should be set apart and people should be made aware that some of those parts of the Islamic history which were usually mostly carried out by the Abbasid and the Umayyad rulers are not a true representation of Islam. Their acts of oppression and atrocities should not be considered Islamic. These rulers usually impose the religion of Islam on others and initiated wars because of their enemies' refusal to accept Islam. However, the wars of the Holy Prophet of Islam, they all occurred around and in the suburban areas of Holy Medina because always the enemies attacked the base of the Muslims' community. The pagans used to travel 400 kilometers just to attack the Muslims and to uproot Islam and only the Holy Prophet acted in defense.
all these stories that are mentioned in books, these atrocities should not be considered to be part of the Islamic history. Because these rulers have nothing to do with the Holy Prophet. I hope that Almighty God, especially during this holy month of Ramadan, help us to fulfill our religious obligations and keep away from the forbidden actions so that we can have the honor to set apart the path, the true path of Islam, which was represented by the Holy Prophet, from the path that was mentioned and recorded in history by those oppressive rulers. May God bless Muhammad and his pure household.